young man, tell this pitiful beggar the name of this town. Why, Black Hills Bay. Ah, thanks so much. And now I have heard that there is in this town a certain inn where weary travelers may rest. The uh, Benbow Inn. Oh, yes, sir. The Benbow's where I live. I'm Jim, son of the innkeeper. If you're hungry, I'm sure Mother can find you something. <sighs> All right, innkeeper, son, speak up. In that inn, you have a guest named Billy Vaughn, correct? Let me go! That hurts! How? That's the major, but don't you go lying to old Pew because he knows how to get the truth out of lads like you. There's a man who calls himself Captain, but he never meets anybody. Uh. That's him. Now, if you're lying, I'll punish you, boy. I'll skin you alive. Where's the inn? came about a month ago. He drinks all day and everybody's frightened of him. Each day he tells me to go on the lookout for a certain man. What certain man? I don't know his name or anything about him. All I know is that he has one leg. <laughs> He's one-legged, eh? <laughs> educadores ayudando gente Poor chap has had a heart attack. He's had too much to drink and the excitement got to his heart. Hmm. Until 11, signed S. Puzzling note. You know, I have a strange feeling that something terrible is about to happen. The police. I'll ride there, but I need a horse. Here. Yeah. Pues que se enamoran las, las generaciones nuevas. No, no.
como creen. Dios quiere, eh, Paraguay y hacer lo que, como dices, Bolivia. As you can see, I'm quite influential. Odds bodkins! Experts, every last one of them. And they work for half your normal wage. A bargain, I'd say. Odds bodkins? Like a discount sale. I'll take it! Not so fast, if you please, Squire Trelawney. Hey? Oh, no, uh, Captain. I am absolutely against this. Against what? I warn you, sire, I cannot and will not be responsible for any crew without your checking their reputation. But see here, it is your duty to command any men who come aboard. No, you may count me out. Huh? Wait! Captain, hold your temper. I'll, uh, I'll double your pay and give you a handsome bonus. I'll give you my summer house. I'll... I'll give you the key to my wine cellar. My apple pickled in honey. You like apples pickled in honey, eh? Well, well, all right, I'll try it. But if I don't like the taste of it, forget it. Uh -huh.
Foster Hawkins men. Salute. Good. Now let's have your report on what's for supper. Aye, aye, right, sir. Tuna. Oysters with hot pepper sauce. <laughs> and for dessert? Apple that's well pickled in honey. Again? Every day it's apple pickled in honey, apple and honey. Golly, Mr. Silver, I'm tired of it. Oh, sorry, Jim. Captain's orders, but special for you. Carrot Supreme, my favorite dessert. Master Hawkins, you honor me with your appreciation. Ah, wait, boy. I'll get you something even better. Collected it during my many years at sea, but... Ah, here you are. Open it. Beautiful. And you're giving them to me? If you smell them, Jimmy, you'll smell all the seven seas. But, Mr. Silver, why did you collect these shells? Just to give them all away to somebody? Oh, no, I'm just all alone in the world, Jim. I got no one else to give them to. I just love pretty things, that's all. I was thinking I'd take to land someday, get married, and... But I'll never own a home to decorate. My only home's a ship. Mr. Silver, you're a warm-hearted creature. <laughs> and capture the ship. You got it, my lad. The treasure will be split. It's Captain Flint's great treasure, you know. You mean I'm actually going to wind up with part of the treasure of Captain Flint? Why, Long John Silver is a relative of Captain Flint. Follow him, and we'll be a certain pretty for the rest of our lives. What about the captain, the squire, the doctor, and their kid? Well, now, what do you think? When we take the treasure, we get rid of all four of them. We, long as we're getting rid of all four blokes anyway, I say get rid of them, no. Sooner the better. Are you crazy? You're forgetting that we ain't got the map. They got it. It's better to let them alone now and take care of them later, right? Let them find the treasure. Let them do the work. Then we'll move in. Until then, <sighs> mum's the word. Don't let them smell out what we're up to. Hey. <sighs> I talk so much, I've worked me up a nasty thirst. Bull, fetch me an apple. Aye, aye, mate. <laughs> My hands. You beast. <laughs> Your growing claws pull them back. We're not beasts. Sorry, Silver. When I hear about treasure, I always grow fangs and claws. I cannot help it. 
Listen, Paul, I may be a pirate, but nobody's calling me a beast. See that? Not so much as a claw in sight. Believe me, when this job is over, I'm taking my split of the treasure and building me the house I always wanted. That's my dream, spending the rest of my days like a gentleman in peace. Now, let's let's get in before they get suspicious. He's a pirate. How do you know? I am not surprised. I ever heard him speaking to his men on deck. Most of the men aboard are his henchmen. Aunt Bodkins, Captain, you were right. I was a fool. I should have listened to you. Now we have no choice but to gather our forces and fight. No. Too early for that. Don't let them know that we know. They'll slip. Leave the rest to me. Good work, Jim. I'm counting on you to keep an eye on them. Aye, aye, sir. Alive is going to be the hard part. Hear this, men! Thanks to you, we've arrived safely at our destination. To show my appreciation, I'm giving you leave to go ashore and have fun! Again, you're going to the break. Whatever you say, Dr. Livesey. Yes. Squire Trelawney, I believe you dropped your pistol. <laughs> what do we do now, pray? We go to the island. We find the treasure by ourselves, and when we do, we set sail, leaving the pirates behind. Oh, it's Bodkins. Where's Jim? He's disappeared. Huh?
get out of there just in the nick of time, brother. But why do you call me brother? Well, I'm Ben Gunn, see? At one time, I was a pirate. Why are you four-footed and without clothes? To me, you look like a lion. Right you are, brother. You wouldn't know it to look at me, but I was once a mate on a ship commanded by Captain Flint. When the captain came to this island, I could smell trouble. <laughs> he hid his treasure and stranded at me. You work for Flint? No, I'm hiding from Silver. That pirate? Look, if you're not careful, brother, you'll all end up like me, searching for treasure and turning into beasts. Please, I beg you, put me on your ship and take me away from this island. I'll ask those in command. You will? <laughs> and to show my appreciation for your kindness, brother, I will do anything for you. Anything, 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 anything. All in! Now, look, you blokes, this here's Treasure Island. We come to find the buried treasure of Captain Flint, and I don't want no one muffing the job. Claws already? As soon as you hear the word treasure, your claws appear, eh? Well, let's get this straight. We're not a pack of greedy beasts, remember that! Now, young Jim Hawkins was acting kind of funny before. A few of you go and bring him back. What in thunder do you think you're doing? I want you to stop acting like a hound dog and pull in that stupid tongue. Listen, Silver, I didn't come on any treasure hunt to listen to your great lectures. Well, then, you're not taking orders from me anymore, right? Right. I'm not taking no more orders from you or anyone else, Silver. I'll find the treasure myself. Hmm. Oh, well, then, I guess you'd better get started. before we're attacked both from land and sea. By Jove, there's a cabin, a stockade. If we can make shelter there, we can fight off the pirates. Well, thank goodness. Let's hurry. Ah, this will make a good fortress. Must have been a pirate's hideout. Hmm. There's a bed of sorts. Furniture. Anyway, we'll get our things moved in, guns and powder there. We'll put the food supplies in that corner against the wall. And we'll be ready for the pirates. Can't say I care much for the odds. We're three against 18. But if you two cover the windows to the north and south, and I cover the door... Who go? 
house there. Captain Silver. Can't say I've heard the name, sir. The Silver I know is plain Mr. I was just made Captain. Captain Silver himself come to talk in a friendly way. Let me come in, eh? All right, you may come in. But I warn you, no tricks, Mr. Silver. Oh, now there's a good lad. <laughs> Careful, Dr. Livesey. I smell a trick. All right, stop where you are. What is it you want to talk about? I'm a gentleman. I've come to negotiate. You, a gentleman, don't make me laugh. You're a liar, a killer, and a beast. Look, I may be a liar and a killer, but I'm no beast. You don't see me walking around on all fours. Never mind that, Silver. Just tell me what you want. All right, Doctor. As I said, I'm a gentleman. I've come here to negotiate. We want the map of the buried treasure. You want to keep your life. So you give us a map and we'll let you keep your life. We don't like that kind of bargain, Silver. At this moment, it's your life that's in danger, not ours. But we agree to let you go free if you surrender right now. How say you? All right, Doctor. Have it your way. But don't say later on that Long John Silver didn't warn you. Odds bodkins! Get away from here, you dreadful beast! Beast! You heard him? I'll tell, but you blokes ain't seen the last of me yet. It's awfully quiet out there. I have a hunch the pirates are plotting their strategy. I have to sneeze. Maybe they fled. What was that? Something terrible has happened. How can I ever thank you, Ben Gum? It's I who must thank you, Jim. Good luck. Oh, <laughs> 
And I did save your life back there, didn't I, when those lowly beasts were ready to do you in? Well, now it's your turn. If I should grow crazy over the treasure, you saved me. Save me, man, on a dead man's chest, now ain't that a shame? The devil said, alive or dead, to me you're all the same, to me you're all the same. I'll check the map, eh? Tall tree on Great Eagle Mountain. That's it! Great Eagle Mountain? It's buried on the left shoulder of the mountain. Now, it says on the map that only one man shall dig the treasure. I see the mountain is balanced uneasily on a narrow base. Oh! so unstable that if we all try to climb it, it'll tip over. I'll go. No, me. No, me. Me. of you. 
Please, Squire Trelawney, don't be too harsh on Mr. Silver. He's the one who saved my life. Hmm, very well. But, Silver, you are now indebted to Jim, eh? The treasure wasn't where it was supposed to be, Doctor. Do you think their maps are fake? As a matter of fact, Jim, that treasure was dug up a long time ago. Oh, by whom? Ben Gunn! Right. I dug up the treasure a long time ago and took it to my cave. Oh. Yippee! Let's go to his cave. I want to see the treasure. At last, treasure, 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 treasure. <laughs> Never forget you, Captain Silver. <laughs> <laughs> 